This is a robotic repair of bilateral direct inguinal hernias. I always start left side, work to the right. I take my peritoneal flap down as always, very similar fashion every time. With bilaterals, I stopped using that little bridge of tissue in between. I just go all the way across, take it down as one flap. I find it easier. I ended up banging around that central little piece that I left hanging anyway. And then what ends up happening is it bleeds and just becomes more annoying than it's worth. So I would always just take, now you can see here, I just take it all down as one flap. You can see the right-sided direct inguinal hernia there. See a little bit of weakness at the deep internal ring on the right side, indicating probably an indirect inguinal hernia forming at some time in the future. Again, staying very thin on the flap. And with directs, I tend to not go so high and lateral on the flap and make this big lateral flap because the mesh, I, I always set the mesh to the side of the hernia. So I'll set my mesh medially enough to cover my deep internal ring, but mainly enough to cover the large direct defect. Sometimes I forget to mention, also after you do the direct hernia like any other time, even with opening little hernias, after you identify and repair the direct, you should always check for an indirect or cord lipoma, which I always do. I always open up the deep internal ring and pull out any cord lipomas. see here that anti-sac there just kind of pulls away with some cautery, just kind of falls away on its own. There's also a femoral component there. You can see it kind of pulled back up. So now I realize I have a femoral component, so I'll take this flap down laterally enough to get myself to identify the iliac vessels first. I find the iliac vein, then I realize, okay, I'm safe here. So then I can pull it down. When you start pulling on that fat up into the femoral space and things start retracting and bleeding. So I always kind of reorient myself, come back to the deep internal ring, pull everything down, get the flap down and not work so much into a hole. Just keep kind of choking up on the sack. A couple of gentle pumps on the cautery, pulling everything down. You can see the hernia contents will be pulled out, and then you'll see this white, pearly anti sack there that you can see there. Just kind of buzz in front of it, push it away. It just kind of falls back on its own there. Next thing you know, you're home free. Taking this down off the spermatic cord. You can see how this kind of drifts into where the iliacs are. The iliac artery and veins seem a little bit offset here, so I'm pulling on the fat, trying to orient myself until I can find the iliac vein on the right. And once I do, there I'm pointing to is the obturator nerve. This is the obturator fossa, lacunar ligament. But you can see that's, that's the obturator nerve that runs along the inferior margin of the Cooper's and inguinal ligament. There's the iliac artery. Again, taking everything down. Again, the obturator nerve, very clear there. I 
And you can see the two large direct defects. Small cord lipoma here. Again, the triangle of fixation here for the direct hernias, always two on Coopers, one on the medial edge of the direct hernia. And then one just medial to symphysis pubis, or just lateral to symphysis pubis, depending on the side. And you can see I have a triangle of fixation there. I overlap my mesh from the contralateral side. Especially with directs, you've heard me say this before, the corona mortis vein that runs basically transverse and almost tangential on the Cooper's ligament that comes down. I almost always try to go medial to that between that and the iliac vein. Then you can see I always start in the center, pull everything up. I try to recreate medial umbilical ligaments back to each other, but I also will take the hernia contents and the hernia that has been reduced from the right side or left side. I'll kind of suture that in with there so they're hopefully slightly decrease my chance of recurrence. And again, I just keep trying to line up the medial umbilical ligaments and all the fatty tissue in the center. Again, grabbing the hernia contents from the left side there, pulling everything up and trying to cinch it together. 